Now, we're very lucky once again to be joined by Dr. Stephen Businger. He's professor and chair of the Atmospheric Sciences Department at the University of Hawaii at Manoa to break down what we're seeing with Lane and why we're seeing the track that we are right now. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Welcome back. Happy to have you. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, I appreciate you taking the time to come out because I know we call you early and we really appreciate you. Okay, so the current conditions. Well, the main things is, one, we saw it weaken and now a Category 2, but then also the fact that it slowed so much. So, so what does this mean for us? Well, it's interesting. It's complicated because the slowing means that whatever rainfall happens is going to linger longer. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that it is uh, weakening, of course, is good news, very good news. And it also means that we're going to see a, a, a shift in the track, and it, it will gradually start moving westward. Okay. And if that happens sooner, uh, all the better, because it means that we'll have less wind here than we would have if it had continued further north. Right. So the earlier, the better for that westward trend. And we've been saying that for quite some time. So, so you think that the, the slowing really is indicative of that that, that, that is happening? Indeed. Okay. I think that the slowing is, is a reflection of the fact that uh, now the upper level winds that, that are from the south uh, are no longer affecting the storm as much. And the, the low level winds that are pushing it from the north and the northeast are starting to take over. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and this is part and parcel with the fact that the storm is weakening, it's no longer as deep, and the deeper the storm, of course, the, the more of the southerly winds are affecting it. So it's becoming less deep, and ah. I think that uh, now the northeast trades are going to start pushing it further to the west. Okay, so that would mean good news for us. Now, it would also mean different impacts, correct? So with, with a potential... I guess similar track as to what we're seeing with the Central Pacific Hurricane Center or with it making even a quicker shift to the west, what would that mean for different impacts for us? Well, again, if, if it's moving slowly and staying a little further south, mm -hmm. uh, the main impact is going to be the heavy rainfall and that the heavy rainfall is going to continue over a longer period of time uh, throughout the weekend perhaps and that is going to create a threat of flash flooding mm -hmm. and people in low-lying areas and flood prone areas should really uh, you know take take precautions and, and be aware and are we going to start to see a bit of a shift in the rainfall too because we've been seeing the big island just getting pounded ever since yesterday morning and we're still seeing that on the radar right now will it still continue do you think statewide or is it going to start to shift a little bit more to the west well, I th it, it will shift uh, northward and, and westward. Uh, the the uh, original heavy rainfall was coming in on the windward side of the Big Island, the, the Hamakua coast and the Kau coast. And it shifted now more to the Kona coast because the storm is further north and we're now getting a little bit more of onshore flow on the Kona side. Right. And as far as Oahu and Maui are concerned, the heavy rainfall uh, that uh, was experienced, uh, say, in Hilo, uh, is now going to shift, and I think we'll see some heavy rainfall starting uh, tonight over Maui and Oahu. Okay, and as the days progress, now again, we've been saying that the system, it's not really just going to be one day. It's not going to be today and tomorrow. What is, what, why are we going to expect more rainfall even days after the storm starts to leave us? The hurricane is surrounded by a very large plume of moisture, and that plume of moisture uh, extends out to, you know, hundreds of kilometers, hundreds of miles, and, and that plume is going to take some time to, to be evicted away. And as long as you have that high relative humidity, you'll, you'll see enhanced showers, especially with the winds uh, blowing this moisture across the mountains. Okay, so high relative humidity. So we're going to be seeing pretty muggy conditions then as well? Yes, muggy conditions. Oh, okay, and then when, when would we likely start to see improvements, though? How long does that typically linger around? It depends a little bit on how fast the storm moves out. Uh, if it starts to accelerate in a westerly direction, that's helpful. Uh, that'll bring uh, a, you know, more dry conditions sooner. Uh, but I think that by Sunday night, Monday, you'll probably start to see an improvement. Okay, good. So, again, longer than it takes to pass to the south of us, but hopefully by at least the ending of the weekend. All right, so with the current conditions, with, with the impacts that we're seeing, what do you think in terms of the surf? Do you think surf-wise and storm surge-wise we'll still see a similar forecast, or do you think the earlier westerly movement might change that? 
I think the surf is going to be enhanced uh, for a while because the storm still has 105 mile an hour winds. It's uh, producing a laser of, of, uh, of storm surge and uh, high waves towards Oahu. It, the fact that it's going to turn, or I, I'm calling it a fact, the, the likelihood that it's turning mm -hmm. soon, uh, I think will uh, really help uh, Oahu to uh, uh, avoid the worst uh, storm surge and wave action. Okay, well that's good. So uh, for those who don't know, can you real quickly just kind of explain what storm surge is and why it can be such such a big concern for most people? Okay, this, the storm surge is really an elevated sea level and the waves are on top of the storm surge. So if you have a, a high tide, for example, and the storm surge is on top of that, and then the wave action on top of that, you can imagine that you're going to have a lot of inundation at the coast. If the storm itself turns, and which is predicted, then uh, the storm surge is not going to be as large as it would be if the storm made landfall in the Hawaiian Islands. And so that's the good news. Uh, I don't think that we're going to see a very large storm surge as a result of the turning of the, of the storm. But the winds are producing very large waves, and uh, I think everyone should be careful when it comes to the coast. Stay away from the beaches. Definitely. Right and then, Doctor, right now we're looking at the satellite. How crazy is this to see? This Category 2 storm, look at that, stretching all the way at least the cloud cover from Ni'ihau to Hawaii Island. Yeah, it's, uh, it's daunting and it's very concerning, of course, that we still have such a strong storm yeah. so very near us. I have to give credit to the Central Pacific Hurricane Center for mm -hmm. doing such an excellent job in forecasting the track of this storm. They've been spot on uh, and they've been very consistent in taking the storm near the islands and then moving it off to the west. Uh, and I, I think that uh, they deserve a lot of credit in keeping us uh, informed. Definitely. And then in the long run, safe as well, because, you know, so many people were prepared uh, for the worst along that track, you know, when the cone of uncertainty was looking a little bit more daunting. So, again, we can't completely let our guards down. We're still going to be seeing some big impacts from this. What would you say to people who are saying, you know, oh, it hasn't even really rained here on Oahu. The storm started to break up. It's already leaving. You don't need to worry about it. What would you say to those folks? Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> I, I don't think the worst is over yet. Yeah. Uh, the storm is still approaching us, uh, even though it has slowed. Um, it's v highly likely that we will see some very heavy rainfalls. And the beaches are, are going to be pretty spectacular today, so be very cautious uh, and take care. Yeah, definitely not the time to be heading into the ocean, that's for sure. Dangerous conditions, again, not only the huge surf, we also have the very large tides coming through, potential for the so storm surge, and then also rip current conditions out there. So again. In, in addition to that, we also have all the rainfall, so all the debris going into the water. Just not something that you're going to want to go anywhere near. Just be safe and be smart out there.